Well, if you don't know, I'm going to tell you. There is a solar eclipse that will be seen here in North America this coming weekend, Saturday, October 14th, to be exact. So how long will this eclipse last? What are the best places to be to see it? Well, if you're already in North America, that's a plus right there. However, who will see it? Uh, that can get confusing. But you know what? Even if they claim you won't see it, y'all, I have heard these same, I guess, people that are in astronomy say we won't see something in North America, but it'll be seen in other parts of the world. I remember they said that about uh, a blood moon one year and everybody saw it here in America and they claim we wouldn't see it. It would be seen in other parts of the world. And that was not true. And then it was another time, I think it was 2018 or 2017, they claimed there was an eclipse that would be seen in parts of Africa and you know other locations. I saw that solar eclipse here in the US when they claim we wouldn't be able to see it. So if you wanna go see it, go see it. I, I promise you, it's gonna be in states that they claim won't see it. Always happens. So now they're saying there are nine U.S. states which are the best places to be to see this particular solar eclipse. And yes, this one, you will see that ring of fire, you know, when, when the moon briefly passes in front of the sun, blocks the sun, you'll see the ring of fire. They said... Um, if you are in the southwestern part of the country, you will get the best view of it. Everyone else will see an eclipse, but they said it will look like a partial eclipse. So who will it be visible to? North and South America, and also all parts of Central America. And, you know, they tell people to get the solar glasses, you know, made for solar eclipse. Because yes, there are people among us that their eyeballs will get sunburned. So yes, so those of you that are part of those groups that get sunburned eyeballs, yes, make sure you put those solar glasses on. All right. So, you know, it, it also points out websites that you can go to if you want to see a map of the eclipse. But, you know, in all honesty, people don't want to see a map. What people want to see is the actual eclipse. So if it's not in your area and you're not in the southwestern part of the country, then watch it online. I, I watch all of them online if I'm not able to see it where I live. And it's always people and also different websites that will broadcast it so you can see it anytime you want online and even watch the repeat of it if that's what you want to see. So um, they're saying now there are smart apps that are designed for solar eclipse. So you'll be able to see it. You know, I'm not sure. You know what? That's actually not shocking because, you know, the big one that everybody's anticipating, the one that's going to be on April 8th, 2024, that puts the X across the U.S. I I'm not surprised. I kind of figured they would have some apps where you can go on and watch the eclipse. So not shocking. So it's called, it, one of the apps that they're putting out is called Astronomers Without Borders. So it's a new solar eclipse app and it's supposed to have like a simulation of it and makers of Sky Safari, they also have one, one eclipse. 
give you a lot of information about how to go online and, you know, learn more about the eclipse. So, and yeah, and they actually mentioned the April 8th, 2024. You know, a lot of people are saying, you know, they anticipate dramatic changes. You know, me, I, I'm just going to roll with the flow because we don't know the time or date of anything that's going to happen. So I'm just going to roll with it. And y'all, you know, let me know if you live in the Southeast in the comment section. Just let me know. And hopefully you'll get a good glimpse and it won't be all overcast outside on that day. You know, I hope it's not. You'll get a clear view of the solar eclipse, you know. And look, y'all, look at what's happening just before the solar eclipse. Look at what's happening. You have all the the political parties in disarray and the house speaker being kicked out of his position. You got this war now going on between Hamas and Israel, you know, and it's just so many things happening leading up to this eclipse, you know, and we haven't even gotten into the week yet, upcoming week. So let me know what you think about this video. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.